Yeah, just a little update of what I've been doing. I've got the uh, four aerials on there now. Only three of them are working. The two UHFs on the outside, and this one here is a uh, AM. Uh, I've got the 40 channel, the 80 channel, and the 27 megahertz radio in the cab there. I'll just show you how I've got them up there. It's just the two there, the one there. I'm finally getting to put all the dash back together after getting all the Kenwood system in there with the camera and everything. Um, well, so I mounted some more toolboxes. This one, this toolbox here, I found on online. It was only ten dollars. So it's just got me uh, emergency triangles, jumper cables, and the um, tire pump. I actually put these pop locks on there. I've got the same key on, uh, put it on that one and I've got it on this toolbox here as well. Get in there. That's got all the adapters for all different types of uh, trailers I can tow. Uh, got the same key on that pop lock. So I put uh, an extra couple of uh, plugs on there so I've got all different types of plugs I can plug it into. I had to move the number plate over to get the uh, thing there. I've made the spare wheel carrier and the gas bottle carrier, so now it's uh, carry plenty. In the back of the motor home, you can see where that uh, notch is cut out. That's how far the, the motor home comes to, so it all fitted on there quite nicely. And I also fitted the other toolbox back onto this side here. Been moving these things around, yeah. Finding out which was the best place for them. Uh, I don't know if I put the step in on the last video, but that's all pretty well finished. Oh. Ready to go. Uh, oh, the the uh, solar panel's all done, but uh, to get it out from underneath here, I left it off until later. Anyway, that's it.